Hey, hey, folks! Welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII with me, Beanie Eight One. Today we are sailing through the sea, heading straight towards the, well, at least where we hope to find Travia Garden, still in one piece, despite the fact that the Empress, um, the Sorceress, not Empress, <laughs> shot missiles at it. However, Selfie wants to see what happened to our old home, and we'll head over and hope that it's not too bad. If you remember the last episode, we managed to find ourselves a few new allies uh, in the form of both the Tonbury King and Odin himself. A kind of a staple for the um, Final Fantasy series. He tends to show up in quite a few of the games, Odin does. And we are on the wrong side here. We need to get to that beach. Ah, such a big, bulky garden. Come on, head round. That's it. And there's the beach. We should. Ooh. What's this? Shumi Village and Trebu Garden. There we go. I was just double checking I was on the right island. Well, I was pretty sure I was. Okay, it should be up here. Nope, I think I need to go a bit over here. Now, there is a very special forest on this island that I could go and have a look at. However, I'm going to hold off for now because it's one in a series of special forests. Uh, by now, get one free. No? Uh, <laughs> um, and I'd rather do them all together. So I'll probably make that an episode later on. And I can't get to all of them just yet. This, however, is Travia Garden. Not looking too good. Ooh. And of course, we get in a fight before we can get in. Come on, Squall, finish it, it's only a bite bug. Even Selfie could probably hit kill us in a hit. Uh, oh, you'll notice I have switched the team around just slightly. I noticed that Quitsis was uh, a couple of levels below uh, Zell, so I swapped him out and got her in. And she has his junction set up. And we Siren learned a bit there. Now, one thing I didn't show you last time is GF Tombra. You'll notice there's no GF Odin, but I think I explained that last episode, so... I won't explain again. This is what Tom Rick can learn. I've got him learning familiar right now, which means it's easier to buy rare items. I believe there's a few items you can't actually get unless you have this ability. Um, however, you don't have to junction it or anything, so that's quite nice. He has a couple of nice abilities. I think he's the only one that has luck junction. Um, he's, oh, at least he's got this. I think, no, sorry, another GF has luck junction, where we can use magic to have luck. And he also has evasion plus 30, which are both really nice abilities. These two are very good abilities when you're trying to grind. They basically level up or level down the monsters you're facing. Uh, I don't think it can be used on bosses, so you can't make a boss level down just to make him easier. But you can level up a creature, so you get better items, better draws, stuff like that from it. Uh, and more experience, obviously. However, it raises the challenge as well, just to even things out. Uh, and I went in there to do the si oh. I'm useless today. I really am. Alright. We've got some magic, GF, HP, or boost. Hmm. Some magic's already halfway done, so I may as well finish that one off. And now, we will head into Travia Garden. You found anything, Selfie? A direct hit. This is terrible. Hmm, it's not looking too good. I'm going in. Be careful. Yeah, you don't know what's moved in. If this place has been taken down, there could be some very nasty beasties that have moved in. Three. Squall. Why isn't Selfie here? Aren't we missing someone? Selfie, I'll let her go ahead. I bet you she's in shock. Come on, let's go after her. Irvine does care, despite all his um, 
you know, uh, Playboy style attitude. He does. Uh, hang on. Is this a survivor? So, you've been looking after Selfie? Selfie's been a great help. Ah. What's wrong? That's not like Squall at all. Whatever. Hmm. Well, we've got some fun to go. May as well pick that up. And you know what? You uh, you insulted me, Selfie, so right in front of you, I'm going to challenge your friend to a card fight. I'm so glad I saw Selfie. I feel a lot more cheerful after talking to her. But, um, no, I want to... Oh. There is a reason I'm actually trying to challenge her, but um, not just as a really, really odd way to try and annoy Selfie, and probably an unsuccessful one as well. Uh, young lad, what was your name and number again? Have you done a good deed for your academy, Trabia Garden? Good deed, you ask? It's to help rebuild this place. Let's see, for example, have you donated to the Trabia Fund? I'll give you an A. Hmm. Seems like they're trying to, um, just turn rebuilding the garden into a lesson as a whole. Christ, look at all these gravestones. That missile, must, that missile attack must have really taken a few lives. Which isn't surprising, you know, after all, it is missiles hitting a very, uh, fairly highly populated base of sorts. Uh, well, no, there is a reason I'm running this guy buried with his weapon. Whew. Seems like it's scenes like this that show you how, like, I had this game, uh, and I was fairly young when I like got this game. I just didn't understand half of the kind of things that it's it is, but it's actually a really, really deep story. Really, um, a really good story. I mean. Uh, and I just uh, I love this game so much and it uh, hey who are you, you say we're Trebu's tech uh, Trebu Gardens tech squad we all divided up into different squads to utilize each of our specialties okay then I'm helping oh is it up whoa I, I think so warning personal data bank Um. Oh no. I'm trying to help. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is such an ama amazing game, and it's it's only grown on me more so since I first got it, like 10, 15 years ago. I can't remember when, how long it was since it came out. Okay, let's do our best to calculate our food and daily supplies. The calculator's broken too, so we have to be extra careful. Um. How about using some paper and just you know being smart about it or <laughs> uh <laughs> that's just such a oh, selfie i'm sorry selfie can you forgive us what why why are you apologizing that teddy bear you gave me uh, i couldn't save it uh i can hear him crying he's so lonely my teddy bear's a lot stronger than you think as long as you're all safe mr bear's very happy Hey, I can hear him. Mr. Bear's watching over you secretly. So don't be naughty or sad all the time. Just remember, Mr. Bear is watching you. Duh. Hey, Selfie. Sorry, I'll be there in a sec. Wait by the basketball court, okay? Um, okay, I promise to be good. Tell Mr. Bear I won't be sad or cry all the time, okay? Uh, she's gone. Thanks, Selfie. I'm going to quickly go back and see if I can challenge Selfie's friend, yep. Selfie? Oh, she's by the cemetery. I didn't want her to feel sad, but... No. Uh, she's not going to uh, play cards against me, it would seem. <sighs> Just not having the look with her, unfortunately. Maybe uh, in a bit she'll play as... This doesn't look good. The ball rolled under there. That's the last ball. Oh no. Um, gee, I wish the faculty was a little more reliable. What do they expect the student body committee to do under these conditions? 
We have to remove this missile as soon as possible. There's no more threat of an explosion, but if it falls over, it could crush someone. Why is it not explode? Oh, I suppose I've disarmed it. Um, it must have failed to go off when it um, first landed. And that is eight auras. That is an amazing spell that I'm so glad we found a draw point for. Um, it is basically a spell that allows you a one-off use of your limit break uh, after it is cast. Uh, to, no matter what your health is. We're leaving as soon as Sophie comes back. We're on standby till then. Doesn't seem like the enemy has invaded the garden yet. Are they on their way? Where's the sorceress? We have to find her and... Hmm. I've got to do something to show Sophie can depend on me. Why the search for alone? Alone? Inviting Squall back to the past? Whereas the sorceress searches for it? Could it be the sorceress is trying to make that journey into the past too? Why did the sorceress come into the picture all of a sudden? Was she actually waiting for this opportunity? Hmm. wonder if she was living a normal life before all of this. You know, ever since I met all of you, I've been doing some thinking. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't come up with an answer either. Hmm. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks so much for coming all the way out here, everyone. Cheer up, eh? Thanks. Take me with you when you fight the sorceress, okay? I want to get even. I want my revenge. Um. Do we have to fight? Isn't there another way? You know, to avoid any bloodshed. Yo, what the... What are you saying all of a sudden? Maybe someone really smart can come up with a way so we wouldn't have to fight anymore. What are you getting at? If someone can come up with something, that'd be great. But no one's doing anything. They're all scared, uneasy. All they do is complain. They just pretend to be thinking. They criticise others, but in the end, they can't do anything either. Renault, why all this all of a sudden? What do you expect from me? I grew up in garden, I'm a seed. Do you understand? Squall, you have to voice your feelings or else I won't understand. You part of a resistance movement in Timber, right? Unlike others who are all talk, you took to your weapons and fought. And now you're saying all this. What happened to you? I guess I'm getting scared. Sometimes when I'm with all of you, I feel like we're on the same wavelength, you know? But when the battles start happening, it's different. Everyone's tempo seems to pick up and I get left behind. I try to catch up, but it's no use. How far is everyone going? I can't hear anyone. Once I catch up, I wonder, is everyone safe? Will they welcome me with open arms? Is everyone okay? Will we all make it back together? When I start thinking like that? Renoa, I understand. Someone might not be there. Someone you love may disappear before your very eyes. It's tough when you live your life thinking that way. But that's why I fight. When I was a little kid, I was about four or so. I was in an orphanage. Plenty of kids, all with no parents. It was around the end of the Sorceress War, so I guess it couldn't be helped. Anyway, that's where I was. And out of all the kids, there was one there. <laughs> one was very special to me. Irvy, wanna play? I really like this girl, and it made me so happy just talking to her. Safi, what you playing? Wah! Was that orphanage a stone house? You guessed it. An old house made of stone? By the ocean? You guessed it. I knew right away when we first met. 
Hey, why didn't you tell us? Yes, why didn't you tell us? Because you two seem to have forgotten. It just kind of sucked that I was the only one who remembered. Spunky little Sefi and bossy little Quitsy. That is just so weird. Huh? Hey, do you guys remember setting off fireworks? That was... This way. Take control of Ghost Squall. I'm just going to say now as well, this is probably my favourite scene in the game. Or at least it is very close to being. Sis, where'd you go? You don't like me anymore? What a shameful sight. And by the scene, I mean this kind of whole bit as a, you know, from starting in trade. You got all the way through, not just that little squall talking to himself. <laughs> ah, wrong way. I just think this, uh, this is where the story really, really hits its stride. And I, I do like the character development during this bit. How about this? Yeah! The ocean, the lighthouse. We did set off fireworks. Yo! Kids aren't supposed to play with fireworks. I'm telling! I'm gonna tell on you. Cry, baby Zell. Go back to bed. If I remember this, does that mean I was there too? We all got in big trouble. Then what about my parents in Balam? The Dinks in Balam must have adopted you. Yep, that's probably it. I was here? Yo, come on, stop it! May Twern help! Cry, baby Zell. Who's that? Na 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 na. Stop teasing me, Cypher. Oh my goodness. Cypher. My arch enemy. Wow. He was there too. Well. Cypher was there too. Except for Renoa, we were all there. Hey, that means... Yeah. I was there too. I... Sis? I was always waiting for Sis to come back. I'm all alone. But I'm doing my best. I'll be okay about you, Sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. I didn't turn out okay at all. Sis, Ellie. El alone. So alone was Sis? She was a bit older than us, and we all used to call her Sis. Quit Sis, Zell, Selfie, Irvine, Cypher, Alone, and myself. Yeah. I'm not sure what the meaning behind all this is, but we were definitely together. You mean Sis is alone? She's the one that takes us back to Laguna's period. She said she wanted to change the past. I don't know why. There can only be one reason for that. She must not be happy with the present. If that's the case, I'm definitely up for helping her. She's part of our orphanage gang. You didn't even remember who she was. Hey, Selfie, that goes for you too. Hmm, so Sis was alone, eh? Everyone was fond of Sis, but you, Squall? You kept talking it for yourself. You sure have good memory. This is really strange. I don't think I was adopted because of the way I am. Probably the same with Cypher too. You two must have been at Garden by the age of five or so. Even so, he's never mentioned anything about growing up in an orphanage. And nothing about this has ever crossed my mind when I see him, either. Don't you find that odd? That is strange. 
In my case, I had loads and loads of fun after going to Trabia. That's probably why I forgot all about my childhood. And that's what I think. But I don't know what's up with you guys. It's so odd that you would forget. I remember. Yes, I remember now. Things didn't work out too well at my new home, so I came to Garden at the age of ten. That was when I first noticed Cypher and Squall. Cypher and Squall were always fighting? Yeah, Quitsis always used to break us up. Yes, that's right. Cypher was a kid who always needed to be the centre of attention, but Squall always used to ignore him. But eventually they would end up fighting. Squall could have easily walked away from it, but always took up the challenge. He should have just ignored him, but Squall almost in tears would say, I gotta do my best by myself, or else I won't be able to see Sis. I guess I was trying to take Sis. I mean, alone's place. I tried, but to no avail. That's probably it. Even after becoming an instructor, I couldn't stop thinking about Squall. I thought it was love. I had to hide my feelings because I was an instructor, but I've come to realise it wasn't. It was my childhood feelings as a big sister that lingered. Oh well. Hmm. So possibly the reason that Quitsis has been so, um, like, always trying to depend on Squall and have him depend on her is, so, is because of that. She is his big sister. She, you know, cares for him. Yo, this is getting out of hand. We're forgetting way too much. Hmm. I can't remember. The orphanage was located in... Um, mm. Go talk to Quitsis. Seems like she was shocked. I misunderstood love. Actually, I had completely given up when Renoa came into the picture. Hey. It must be the same for Cypher. I'm sure Cypher's forgotten his childhood too. But whenever he sees Squall, his inner feelings start to boil and... Is that why he's always picking fights with Squall? Why is it that we forgot? We grew up together as kids. How's that possible? How about this? The price we pay for using the GF. The GF provides us its power, but the GF makes its own place inside our brain. So you're saying that the area is where our memories are stored? No, that's just a rumour the GF critics are spreading. So if we keep relying on the GF, we won't be able to remember a lot of things? There's no way Headmaster Sid would allow such a dangerous thing. Then how is it that I remember, while everyone else has forgotten? Well, in my case I hadn't junctured the GF until recently. That's why I remember a lot more than you guys. How about you, Selfie? Your first experience with the GF was when you came to Balam Garden, right? Yeah. That didn't sound completely uh, confident. I have a confession to make. When I was 12, I went on an outdoor training session. I found a GF inside one of the monsters I defeated. I junctioned that GF for a while, so I have experience with GF too. But, but it's really weird. I can't remember the name of that GF. It must be the GF's fault. What should we do? What should we do? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? So what do you want to do? You want to stop using the GF now? As long as we continue fighting, we're indebted to the powers of the GF. If there's a price I have to pay for that, I'll gladly pay it. Hey, I know. Let's all keep a diary. That way we'll always have something to remind us. Are you sure that's what you want? Maybe that's for the best. Yeah, I don't care if I forget about my childhood. When C Cypher used to pick on me. What's important to me now is having the power to protect my parents in Balam. They adopted me. There's no way I'm letting go of that power. Hey. Do you all remember Matron? She was always wearing black. Let's see. Matron, dressed in black, she's the... Very kind. Long black hair. Yes, I really admired her. I see a resemblance. Matron, they look alike. Wait, I just pictured her face and... Look alike. <laughs> no, that's not it. Matron's name is Edia Kramer. Matron is Sorceress Edia. Matron? Sorceress Edia? Why is the Matron? Why? 
You're wondering why Matron would take over a country or file, file missiles and whatnot? At this point, we probably wouldn't comprehend it even if we talked about it. You're probably right. Hear me out. Seed and Garden were all Matron's idea, right? I'm not a Seed, but I share the same feeling with all of you. Seeds are supposed to fight the Sorceress, right? This is strange. That's right. It was when I was being tortured by Cypher. He wanted to know what Seed was. Matron should know. But Matron is Sorceress Edia. There's no denying that. What does this all mean? Squall, you listening? So like, this is what I wanted to say. Let's see. Oh yeah. I understand what Renault is saying. I understand, but still I'm gonna fight. I want to stay true to everything I've stood for. I'm sure it's the same for everyone. That's why I thought it'd be best if everyone knew we would have to face Matron. You've all heard this before. How life has infinite possibilities? I don't believe that one bit. There weren't many paths for me to choose. Sometimes there would only be one. From the limited possibilities I face, the choices I've made that I made have brought me this far. That's why I value the path I chose. I want to hold true to the path that had to be taken. I know our opponent is Matron, whom we all love very much. We might lose something very important on account of the GF, but I don't mind. It's not like I drifted here on the tides of fate. I'm here because I chose to be here. And more importantly, we all grew up together. But due to various circumstances, we were all separated. As a kid, you couldn't really go out on your own. There were no other paths to take. All I did was just cry. But... But somehow, we were together again. Just like old times, though a lot's changed. We're not kids anymore. We're strong enough to take care of ourselves. Make our own decisions? We're confronting a big one right now. Do we fight Matron or not? I say we fight. Shoot for a common goal. Hey, at least it'll keep us together a little longer. Yeah, let's do it. We can't run from her for the rest of our lives. It's just such a bummer. I can't believe we have to fight Matron. I know, but Zell's right. We can't run from her forever. Renoa, it's up to you. We're gonna fight. I think it's the only way we can move on with our lives. If that makes any sense at all, come with us. I'm sure that's what everyone wants. Look, look! A gift from the fairies. Yo, you want to go check out Edia's orphanage? I wonder what it's like now. We might find a clue. Clue? You mean as to why Matron turned out like this? Probably has a lot has to do with something that happened in the past. But the past is the past. It's over. Done with. Despite what truth we find, it's not going to change the present. But... I want to see too. I don't know what we'll find, but let's head for Edia's house. Renoa has something to say. I guess that's it. We're fighting. You guys are fearless. Fearless. I don't think that's quite right. If you think too hard, you become lost. I think that's what everyone's afraid of. I wish we didn't have to fight either. heavy hidden bit of story behind us there I'm actually going to call it for this episode folks um, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did as I say this is probably my f one of my favourite parts of the game I love that dialogue that we've just been through I think it's got a ton of character development and ugh, anyway as I say I love it um, but rather than uh, drag this episode on with me just uh, 
confessing my love of this game even more than I already have done, <laughs> um, I will actually leave it here. So, as I say, hope you enjoyed it, folks. I'm, gonna, I'm being it one. This is Final Fantasy VIII, and I will catch you next time. Bye bye now.